Hello guys, so in this video, we will try to create a beautiful UI using this CSS framework called Ripple UI. So we will create a beautiful theme with the help of Sonnet 4. So this will be a WordPress theme. What we're going to do is we already set up our local environment right here on WordPress. So as you can see, we need a local environment so that we will be able to run Vibe Coding uh, using this model to create our blood team with this custom prompt that we created specifically for a blood team using WordPress. So we have set up our local files right here, as you can see. Now we are going to run and set up using Claude Sonnet 4. I'm going to set up this model right here to be added in our client setup. So we're going to change the model right here to Claude Sonnet 4 and we will configure this theme to run Ripple UI. So to do that, we have to add this custom instruction. So we will say it's Ripple UI as the main CSS framework at the CDN. So we will just need to take the CDN from its website. So you scroll down right here in ripple-ui.com. So we will just specify the exact CDN so client will know or Sonnet 4 will know about this. So we're going to add this just like that. So just add the URL. Sonnet 4 will know what to do. Now we're going to copy all this and add this in our custom theme right here. So we'll, we will paste that within our instruction, within our custom prompt. And here we will just need to grab some blood titles that we can convert as articles. So in this case, for example, your niche is about ice fishing. So we're going to take these three keywords right here to convert them as articles. So I think this topic will be good enough for us to start how we can see it renders the blood tip. So first, I'm just going to take this three keywords right here. So once I have these three keywords, we just going to have to set up our temporary WordPress using this tastewp.com so that we can actually upload our theme that we created here. And why we need the temporary WordPress, it suppose you want to show your work to your client or to your customer, then you can just send your URL. So this is an easy setup. So you just need to click this and it will install the temporary WordPress for you, which you can have a play for 48 hours or for two days. Now let's log into the admin dashboard. And since this theme that we are creating is about blog, we're going to post some articles so that we will see how it will render our post templates. Now to easily do that, let me just quickly use article AI generator. So I'm just going to generate those three articles that we took from Google people ask question. Now before that, I'm just going to add quickly this new site. So let me click this add sites. And let me just copy the credentials right here. So I'm just going to do that real quick. All right. So I added the site. I go to the book articles. Now, before you can generate, just download this plugin right here to set up your auto posting. So you just download this. And once you downloaded the plugin, go back to your WordPress, click the add plugin. And here, just click this upload plugin and browse the downloaded plugin. So click on install and just activate this. So no further configuration is required. You just need to activate that plugin and just quickly check the permalinks. Uh, make sure it is set to post name and click on save. Now let's go back to article AI generator and let's quickly generate the three articles right here. Let's auto post that to our WordPress. So I'm just going to generate a featured image. So we will see how the featured image and the article will render and don't forget to auto post, make it publish. And here you select your site right here that you just added and we're ready to auto post. So click generate bulk articles and just wait for a few seconds. So here, while we're waiting for these three articles to be generated. Let me configure the folder name. So this will be, so let's say ice fishing theme sonnet for ripple. Now a team name will just be the same, but without the underscore, let's remove the underscore and our site title will be ice fishing guide. So that's all you need to configure here to create your custom theme. Now we're going to copy this and head to our client. And let's run this. Make sure Claude 4 is selected right here, Sonnet 4, and paste it right there. And let's run this. Now you can see here the three articles have been successfully generated. They've got auto posted. So let's just confirm. So let's go to post. And you can see right here, these are the three articles. Let's check one of the article. And this is our beautiful featured image and our SEO friendly article right there with the right number of words and the comprehensive formatting eligible to rank on Google. How we just need to wait for our art, for our custom theme to be completed here. As you can see, it started to create the required files for our theme. So let's just wait for some time. So I think Klein and Sonnet4 completed the requests of our theme. Now let's just investigate quickly the file. So we have the folder right here and we have all the required files that we requested. So we are now ready to upload this in our temporary WordPress to see how it looks. Now, before we upload, we need to compress this as zip file. So I'm going to reveal this in Finder. So if you are using Mac, so click this reveal in Finder 
And while you're here, just compress that. Now you have this zip file right here. We're ready to upload this to our temporary WordPress. So here, go to Appearance, then go to Themes, and we're just gonna click this Add Theme. And let me click this Upload Theme and browse the file. So here is the file and I'm gonna install the theme. And let's activate it. Now, this is the moment of truth, how, how our team looks like. So we go to post and first, I want to go to the home page. All right, as you can see, it doesn't look good. But actually, I think the problem here is it's not in full width because the way it shows here, look at the icon. So it is actually using Ripple UI. You will notice it based on the buttons that it's using. It's just not using the full width. So that's an easy fix. And let's check one of the blog posts. So it's actually looking good right here. The only problem is it is not using the full width, which we can easily prompt that to Sonnet 4. So you can see right here, it's rendering beautifully. You can see the icons being used right there. And we have all the required heading. So we can simply say, I'm just going to take a copy of this. I'll take a screenshot and let's head back to Client Sonnet 4. And let's paste the screenshot right there. And let's tell Client that it's not using the full width. It's all stuck on the left side of the screen for all the templates. Homepage and single post. So Klein will easily fix that. So look like Klein and Sonnet 4 already completed the fix. Let's go again to uh, this folder. So I'm just going to delete this file right here. And I'm just going to zip this again. I'll go back to our WordPress here. So I'm going to go back to themes and activate this editable theme right here because we're going to delete this. So activate this and let's delete this because we will be replacing this with a modified version. Now we're going to add theme once more and we're going to upload our theme. So let's install this. Hopefully it fixes the weed issue. Let's activate this theme. And now let's see the post. Let's view this. All right. So this is how it's looking now. I am not so sure if this is using Ripple UI, uh, but the way it looks, it's pretty decent. So look at the way it rendered the theme. So we develop this using Sonnet 4 and let's take a look at one of the blog posts right here. It's actually looking great. We have this next and previous articles right here. So we're going to click the next article. So it's looking good. So we have a pretty nice featured image right there, but I don't think it's using Ripple UI. So my suggestion is the next time you create custom theme, we will be pasting a screenshot. So here we're going to go to two plate and we have here free HTML templates, which we can post to Climb when we are prompting to create a custom team. Uh, here we're gonna copy and paste this full size screenshot. So as you can see here, we get a full size screenshot of the layout that we want to become our inspiration. So let's say for example, this one right here, it's looking nice. So what's nice about this website is you have the full screen size like this, and you can just easily copy this to Climb using Sonnet 4 or whatever AI model, and it will follow based on this template right here. So that's the next experiment that we're going to do, maybe in the next video, but I don't think prompting it using the actual CSS framework like Ripple UI, because still this is not too popular. That's why maybe even Claude Sonnet 4 cannot follow it completely, but the way it looks here, the way it provided as the template. So you can see right here, we've got a pretty good homepage right here. We have the frequently asked question and we have the beautiful footer. We have a nice hero section right here. We just need to put a background image and it's pretty nice. The layout of the homepage, it's good. And when we go to the actual post, it's pretty good. It's okay. And we have here the continue reading section and the next and previous article. So we can also toggle between that. So what's the meaning of ice fishing? And we have our SEO friendly blog right here. So next time we will just try this pasting the actual screenshot of the website that we want to be our inspiration to create our custom team. So we'll do that in the next video using this screenshots right here. And I hope you guys learned something from this one and see you on the next one.